Your Excellency, President of the Republic of Angola and uh, SADC Chairperson, Your Excellency, President of Republic of Zambia and Chair of the Peace and Security Organ of the SADC, Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, Excellency SADC Executive Secretary, Honorable Ministers, Distinguished Guests. African history was mainly transmitted orally. However, over centuries from the Nok and Benin empires in the West to the Makonde and Azande communities in the East, statues were used to reinforce cultural identity and values and to communicate collective experiences. Today, Mwalim Julius Kambarage Nyerere's statue recognizes his contribution to African liberation unity and peace, and manifests our pride in our rich heritage. Gratitude is extended to SADC for undertaking this project and to the AU for according a place for Mwalimu's statue besides other great African colossal statesmen, His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie and His Excellency Kwame Nkrumah. Your Excellencies, it is not easy to sum up Mwalimu's vision and motivation. Thanksfully, his own words on Tanganyika's independence instruct us about this. He said, and I quote, we have lit the independence torch to place it at the peak of Mount Kilimanjaro, to shine with, within and outside our borders, to bring hope where there is despair, love where there is hatred, and dignity where there is contempt. Like in Kruma, Mwalimu's vision and devotion for a free and peaceful Africa was unmatched. To him, Africa's well-being came first before popular approval, personal fortune or country well-being. This is evidently so, even in our national anthem, where our first prayer of prosperity is to the mother Africa and then to Tanzania. Mwalimu's... <coughs> Mwalimu backed the founding of our organization and mobilized Tanzanians in support of liberation movements across the continent. Even after leaving office, his support for Africa's efforts, including for peace, remained unwavering. If we are to live in the Africa he invests, then we must know our unity and prosperity lies in our numbers. We must know none of us can have permanent prosperity without a prosperous Africa. It is true to say our uniqueness matches our interdependence and therefore complementing political liberation with economic transformation is important for our future to be secured. The uh, Continental Free Trade Agreement must play a critical role to ensure the prosperity and dignity of the African people. It is my hope that Mwalimu Kambar Julius Kambarage Nyerere's memory will inspire present and future generations to light their own torches in pursuit of hope, love, and dignity where there is none. I thank you for your kind attention. Asante San. Thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, the moment we have all been waiting for I would like to call upon um, uh, the President, His Excellency Joao Lorenzo, he, the President of Angola, if he's here, followed by His Excellency Hakainde Hishilema, President of the Republic of uh, Zambia, and the uh, Chairperson of the SADC Organ on Politics, Defense, and Security Cooperation. Her Excellency Samia Suluhu. Uh, Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, and the incoming chairperson of the SADC Organ on Politics, Defense and Security, and uh, His Excellency uh, Elias Mahosi, uh, SADC Executive Secretary, and His Excellency Musa Faki Mahamat, the uh, chairperson of the African Union Commission, and the chairperson of the African uh, Union, uh, President of Mauritania, to please come and unveil the statue.
Can we please not move uh, too close? Um, can we take the group photo and ensure that there is space? Members of the media, please contain yourselves. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, we have now come to the end of this historical event, and I would once again like to thank your excellencies, uh, distinguished invited guests, for having honored our invitation and be part of this history. Uh, thank you. Merci beaucoup. Muito obrigada. Uh, asante sana. Yes. Um, before we go, can we please have other...